Welcome back, everybody. So I am here again in my world. And we have upgraded. We are now running on version 1.21. So we jumped, we were on what version 1.19. So we've actually jumped over 1.20 and went straight to 1.21. Since 1.21 came out, I hadn't tried it yet. But if you, as you see, the FPS is actually rather good. I mean, I'm getting 104, 118. 120, 160. I was getting 200 in some other areas. Kind of drops to 197, but that is that. That's without any uh, enhancement mods or anything. So that is just straight out of the box, really. So that works out really well. And the average actually shows up. The peak is actually going up near 200. So that's not bad. So that. We'll add, oh, what is this, snow? Snow, why do I have snow here? Oh, there's gotta be something I can do about that. Um. Anyhow, I decided to finally upgrade. I tried it out and it, the since the performance is not bad, I figured might as well get an upgrade. Because there are a few new blocks and stuff I want to try out. So we were now have the opportunity. Yeah, I've been running it for a little while and it's not caused any, um, I'm not running any issues. I haven't gotten all my world spots yet. So we'll see. I do have a backup for before. So I always make a backup kids. So uh, I will be fine. If I do end up having to roll back, I don't think I will. Um, I would have to maybe rebuild anything from here on out. But I can probably uh, live with that. Now, I also haven't pruned any of the chunks. Normally, I prune chunks when I'm in uh, in certain areas. You know, after I do upgrades, when there's actually terrain generation. And there are a few new uh, terrain generation things. Um, we've got the cherry groves, so that cherry wood should be really nice. I need some more wood to build with anyhow. Oh, trail, some ruins and stuff. I'm not quite sure about the archaeology stuff myself. A sniff, there's a sniffer out there someplace. We'll see if we can find one of those. Oh, and then they just added trial chambers, which is some kind of, I guess, sport activity challenge thing where you can go in there and keep... You can uh, defeat these, uh, I guess, these spawners. They spawn different things based on how many people are in there and how often you do it and stuff, and they give you rewards. There's some, uh, like, a, a new weapon, uh, a mace, which is a giant hammer, I guess. It's supposed to be really powerful. I've not actually played. I've not played with any of these. I've just seen um, not even any videos on, like, these things. I've just seen some couple videos mentioning um, the trial chambers and all that kind of stuff so I've not actually uh, I've not seen I've not actually been in one myself uh, they do have a uh, copper in lots of copper in them so that should be if you want to source copper I guess but I guess they're supposed to give you good loot and stuff so I may have to go out and find one of those and see how that works um, like I said if I understand it right it scales to the number of people and how many times you would challenge it so and it resets so it's kind of like a mini game or something i guess so, so i think that let me get some sleep and then we can look at a few of these new features i want to try out i'm um, really excited i like the sun there's sign oh let me just get some sleep then we can actually just go through this whole thing okay so i guess i'll start at the top I don't know if I have any. Looking for some bamboo. They have bamboo blocks now, which should be fun. We'll look at those in a little while. But they also have uh, these hanging signs. So you use like stripped wood and chains, and you make these hanging signs. So I want to try those out. 
And I was noticing, I was looking, it's like for a sign here, it's like you can't even see it. It's way up there. It's Sunrise Cafe. So we are going to, what? We are going to lose or, what the heck? Um... What are you doing? It would have to fall or I couldn't reach it. So I thought I'd replace that sign with a hanging sign. So let's do that. Oops. Sunrise. Oops. Sun. Rise. Rise. I st that still can't spell or type. So I got Sunrise Cafe. And the good thing about these is they are editable or typeable on both sides, which is really cool. And then you can actually go back into them and go down and actually edit, which is, oh, which is amazing. Because how many times, well, many times usually you go through and you, uh, type and make a typo and you have to take the sign down and rebuild the sign and I do believe they should still be yes stainable and each side can have different text and each side can have a different color so that is really cool so I'm very that was one of the it's one of the things I was excited about is just just signs which is kind of sad but and I don't know if you can like, let's see, let's see if you can like hang them off of a, a fence post or something. Do I have any? I do have fence posts. I'm not sure if you can do this. So can if I put that there, can I? Oh, I can't. Ooh, that doesn't look bad. Oh, it kind of. Yeah, so it all kind of meets up in the middle there. That's kind of cool. And can you hang a... Can you actually hang one from another chain? Oh, you can. Well, that's really cool. I like that, too. Oh, brother. I, I'm, I'm going to have fun with these signs. Cause, ooh. Oh, yeah, and they float. Ooh, I could do things with that, too. So I'm, that is, that's a good, that's, that's something to be excited about there. It's such a small little thing, you know, just editing a sign, having fancy signs and stuff. But for someone like me, the way I build the cities and that kind of stuff, I always use a lot of signs and stuff. And it's kind of hard to get them to look right just based on the old sign, you know, old sign setup. But now, oh, now I got tons of possibilities especially for road signs because you got the little road signs you always had to tack them onto the side of a post and they just sometimes didn't look right but now i could just hang them from the hang them from a post and they'll look actually decent so okay good job mojang i, I like that feature so, and that's not even that's like what from 1.20 i'm checking my notes i've got notes on everything so you got your hanging signs, your editor, your signs. Um, oh, let's go look at the bamboo wood. I will show. Oh, there we go. I've got bamboo. Thought I had bamboo. So let's take a look at this. And I play with the bamboo and stuff because I've done the 120 when I was on the on ortho block stuff. So I've actually done stuff with some of these. So this is with the bamboo stuff for anyone who's not seen it. And, and I'm probably, I'm so far behind the times. You guys have seen all this, but this is going to look good in builds around here. So it's always nice to be able to upgrade your world and get away with it. Because last time I tried to do the 1.20 update and my, my uh, FPS was just tanking 
and it just wasn't running right. And it still didn't have a uh, Optifine set up right and that kind of stuff. So, so I'm extremely happy for that. And then what else do you got? Ch I don't know if I can actually do. I know there's some, they're chiseled bookshelves, which probably need a bookshelf to do. I'll have to look that up. Let me look that up and we can see what the chiseled ones, because I can always use more interior decoration blocks. Because that is something that you're always in need of, trying to decorate the interior of all these houses. Well, that is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Let's uh, do some of these blocks. Make some more of these. And then, I don't know if those actually show up in my... It's got a note box. Note box? Note box, box, box. That'd be a... A chicken on a note block would be a note block. Um, if I, if I understand it, you put those there and these here like a little shelf. So you're making a box with a shelf in it. And you get a chiseled bookshelf. Which actually will go make good. That's going to be a good building block. It's actually relatively cheap. It's just some wood. And then you can actually take books and shove the books in there. I don't have any. I'm pretty sure I don't have any books anywhere. But you can just shove the books inside there. And store your books on books. So another nice, uh, another nice new thing they've added. So, so far so good on the different types of stuff. And I think other than the cherry grove, that's the base. Oh, the camel. There's camels now in desert, so we can find a camel. But 120 just had a few things. In the 1.21 update, uh, has like I said, the trial chambers with all the copper. And speaking of copper, we can actually you can make like copper trap doors now, which are pretty cool. I mean, those look nice. I like the, and then they, they do oxidize like all the, the rest of them. So that's a, oh, they break really quick. I thought they'd break slower. But I don't know, do they, uh, oh, and they flip just like normal trap doors. But that's going to make a nice decorating block. I'm going to need to set up a bigger bee farm though, so I can get a lot more uh, honeycomb and so I can anti, what do they call it? Um, wax it put some wax on it so they don't go anywhere and then I know there are other let's see okay so that no hmm cut copper Cock of copper. Oh, maybe I don't have the necessary items. Let's try. Okay, there we go. So we got copper grate and copper bulbs. Those, and then there's copper doors. So a copper door is going to look like that. And a copper grate. Oh, a copper is just a block of copper. Okay. What else is there? Wax. Okay, the wax variants. And, oh, copper bulb. Oh, I need a blaze rod. A blaze rod and a redstone dust. And from what I understand on the copper bulb, it is actually, um, it's an adjustable light. Oh, speaking of light, we're out of light. It's an adjustable light. So you can... Uh, it's got a different level based on whether it's waxed or not waxed or uh, or, or co oxidized and stuff. So it will uh, change its lighting based on the oxidation. So if you only want a l very dim light, you let it, I guess, turn green and it will just barely put out enough light. So that is actually, uh, that is nice. It's, I guess you set the light level and then you can set it any time by waxing it or not. 
or something. I, haven't, I, I just read about it real quick, so I haven't actually played with any of it, and I really don't have a... I was sure I had a blaze rod around here someplace. That's a shame, because I wanted to see what those bulbs look like. Oh, we can look at the grate, though. Oh, those are good. Oh, that, oh, that's going to be cool. Make like a bridge or something out of that. I wonder... Just out of curiosity. Let's get some water. I want to see if they're water lockable. As I run back and forth. I don't know if you can tell, but this is going to be one of those uh, short do-nothing episodes. It is! Oh! Oh! Ooh! I'm so excited. I'm excited. It is water loggable and it doesn't run out. Now it runs out, but. Yeah, unless it was just because. It didn't have any place to go. No? Cool, that's cool. So it holds the water, so that could actually be useful too. So it's water loggable, and unlike stairs or whatever, it doesn't run all over the place. So that's another cool one. Let's see, what else do I have on my list? Oh, and auto crafting. Oh, and top. So there's two things. Two more things, and then I will uh, let you guys get on with your day. Tough now has variants. So we have like chiseled, polished, chiseled, chiseled, oh, bricks. So let's try bricks. So we got chiseled tough. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And polished. And then, ooh, the bricks, those aren't bad either. This could make some, if I'm doing like ancient buildings and stuff, that really looks pretty good. And then just plain old bricks. And then stairs and, oh, normal tough stairs too. That could come up. Oh, that's kind of nice. And then normal bricks are just like that. Oh, those look nice and chiseled. I love the edges on those. It's, you know, such a sharp, more sharp than this. But this could make good foundation instead of, like, the cobblestone I've been using. Because it looks like a fancy, sturdy, heavy block foundation. So that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, for my last, for the last item, let's just, uh, let me get some sleep and then we'll look at this, uh, auto crafter thing uh, would have to start snowing let's go inside and try this out so so now we have you know and I'm torn on some of these new features because this almost seems too too modded to be in like normal minecraft but they have this thing called the crafter what it does is it makes lets you auto craft things and i played with this a little bit and it's it's kind of it's halfway between modded and vanilla i guess so it's it lets you do the auto crafting but it's kind of a pain to set up and you've got to do a lot of redstone trickery and i do have some comments on the interface and stuff just what you know, if you're gonna go this direction, might as well just go all out. You know, would be my suggestion. I'll I'll mention that when I get to it. But the way we make this is we make one of these um, droppers, and then from the dropper, I don't know if it'll show up in my thing. You know, from what I understand, I gotta put some redstone out there and let me look real quick i can't remember 
exactly how I did it last time. I've only built a couple. With, oh yeah, I need a crafting table. So you got to start with a crafting table, which makes sense. So then you have this. You put this sheet of metal on top of it. Actually, it wraps the whole thing. And then you have some redstone components and the dropper, which I guess is dropping materials in and out because it actually dispenses materials. So you have this sucker here and things are going to get spit out here and it can spit it out into a chest if you want. And then you feed things into it from a hopper like this. It has this interface and this just tells you it lets you enable or disable a slot. And this is where my only, I guess, complaint would be. Since if we're going this way, we might as well go this way. It doesn't really, you know, you can put an item in here and it will show you, yes, it crafts it there. But it doesn't like hold on to this and then fill it out. So if you've got like something you can make... Uh, slabs or half slabs or you know that kind of like oh yeah let's do it like cobblestone so cobblestone you can even make wall so you can do this and then fill it up and you're always going to get a wall but if your timing's off you could end up with slabs too because you can make slabs or wall or you can even you know can't make a little pressure plate or anything but with other stone and stuff you can make pressure plates and stuff so it's kind of nice in a way, so if you need, you know, shaped, if you're trying to make leggings out of, you know, you can feed in your iron and it'll make your iron leggings or your, uh, you know, helmet or whatever, what have you. But I think I would like you to be able to put in the item that you want it to craft and set it and then lock it. So you can't get these back out. They're lost. But... When you feed new things into there, it will only match up with what's in there. And you can put different types of items in here for crafting different different things that require more than... Like, if you want to craft auto crafters, you could set it up to do that. Uh, as it is, you're going to have to set it up with timing and redstone and all that kind of stuff. But let's see if I can get this... So, like, if we're going to do the wheat, so it's we're going to make the wheat. So, it sends out a signal. This signal will be, I guess, equivalent to how many items are in there. So, this will be, like, nine. So, what you want to do is when it gets full, you want it to send a redstone signal. When it hits a redstone signal, it's going to kick out the hay bale. So, what... And I found the best way I found to do this is to lock the comparator. So if you feed a signal into the side of the comparator, it will only kick power out in this direction when it matches the signal coming into the side. So what I uh, did... And I've seen other seen videos with people doing this. And for me, it seems to be the easiest uh, easiest thing to do. I mean, it's really expensive because you got to make another one of these. But if you have an iron farm like I do, this is not a problem. This is I've got plenty of stuff. What I would do is, oops, do this, set it to nine. Put another comparator here, and then it should only allow the signal out when this is full. So if we take this, you notice, look, oh, okay, nothing's going out. And then I would just do, I uh, wonder if you did that. Let's try that. There, it's slow, but it works. So every time this fills up with hay, it shoots it out.
So I guess you could do the same thing. So it's if we set it like this, and we fed in the cobblestone, and we lock this. Well, that doesn't work. There we are. Okay. That works that way. So you just let it fill up to the way you want it to fill. And I guess if you wanted slabs, you would just set it like that. No, it still goes. Interesting. Interesting. I thought it would only, I thought it would go out there. So I need, so you have to play with it a bit, but you, you get the gist of it. What this is going to be really helpful for is iron farms. Because I get a lot of iron and I need to convert it into blocks for space saving. And that's really, so I think it's going to be mainly for space saving. But that's what I'm going to use for. I'm going to have to go back and go back to spawn and we'll work on the iron farm. To figure out how I'm going to incorporate that into, you know, into the design. So instead of storing uh, ingots, it stores iron blocks. And I think that'll help because my uh, inventory or my storage gets big because I'm storing a lot of different stuff. But you can do tons of stuff with it. So it isn't. It's kind of nice. We're getting the automation. It's a little moddy for me. And it's kind of halfway. It's kind of, I guess, half committed to, be, you know, they're half committed to converting the vanilla into a modded system by adding something like this. So it's like, you've got the auto crafter, which seems a little modded, but it's not fully super, you know, use, I mean, useful or doesn't have the features that I would do if I was creating an auto modded auto crafter because if I was creating an auto crafter that I wanted to if I was adding one to the game through a mod what I would do is take this and then you could put you know if I wanted to make you know a, so let's say I wanted to auto craft dispensers I would have it so you could set this here, put this here like this, and then hit lock. And then this would be locked in. You lose these items. So you'd have to lose the items you're going to craft it with. But it could only craft a dropper. So whenever you fed cobblestone into it or red dust through a hopper, the red dust would only go into here. Oh, you lock that. So like that. So it would always... Fill this with a co cobblestone. Always fill this with a redstone. You'd feed it in through your uh, your hopper system. And it would always pop out a dropper. And it wouldn't you wouldn't have a risk of like you know creating a slab at any point. Because it couldn't create the slab because in these wouldn't fall out. Because I don't know if you noticed, if you go into if you got this, the items that are in here disappear when you hit a redstone signal on there. So if I go through here and I do that, poop, it kicks out the signal, for, you know, and there's nothing left in here. So I think it'd be nice to leave something in there. But I do kind of like that little touch with the, uh, does the top glow any? No, the top doesn't glow, but you get the little glows on the side. So that would be my, that's my rant, my complaint, and my, uh, what I would do to f repair it, or fix it, which is just basically go full, go, you might as well, you, you're already stepping into the modded water. You're just trying to get your feet wet, so you might as well dive right in enjoy the enjoy the pool take a swim and put you know if you're going to give us an auto crafter make it a complete auto crafter with filtering and all that kind of stuff i mean of course while you're at it might as well you know make something and you know, you know something where you can combine a hopper and an auto filter to get a filtered an auto crafter to get a filtered hopper 
So then you put an item in there and it only lets those items through. So, I mean, how far are we going to go with this? We'll be, uh, we'll be in build craft pretty soon. But I do look forward. I'm going to do some pruning on the world. So when we go exploring next, I may be able to find a trial chamber. Or what I'm really looking for is like a cherry grove because I can use that cherry wood. Because I could do that in some builds. And then some of these other, you know, the chisel is going to be nice and signs and that kind of stuff. I'll go around and kind of upgrade some of the signs. But that is kind of a quick rundown of where we are in this world. We are now 1.21. 1 um, this is not a, you know, not a version review because I'm like months, <laughs> months out of date on when these things come out. But, uh, but I usually am way behind on this world for obvious reasons i don't want to break anything i will still go a running around and check and make sure nothing else breaks because i haven't been the spawn uh, or checked any of the other farms and stuff so hopefully i won't have to rebuild any hopefully everything's working hopefully everything looks okay i did kind of let it uh percolate for a while to see if they'll come out with an uh, a fix or a patch or something and they haven't so it seems like it's uh this is the final product for now so i want to thank you all for watching um i know this is a different episode not a really buildy episode more of a look wow we're upgrade our system or world episode next time i will uh i'll be more into building in the next episode and we'll uh trying to finish this city which is uh started out i guess it started out big and it's gotten even bigger so this could take us hopefully it won't take too long to get this thing done but you know how these things go i've still got all that farmland to do a uh, nice and where we were inside here i need to do the hot springs i still not done the hot springs which is the thing that names the city because it's got this giant hot spring cave so I need to actually make the hot spring cave. So it's a good tourist attraction. So have a great day, everybody. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.